The search for leverage points is an attempt to identify those points within the structure where small changes will result in the desired changes to the situation being considered. Donnell, Donnell Meadows has identified 12 categories of leverage points. These will be presented from least to highest potential effect on the structure and subsequently the situation. Number 12, constants, parameters, numbers, such as subsidies, taxes, or standards. Parameters are points of lowest leverage. Though they are the most clearly perceived among all leverages, they rarely change behavior and therefore have little long-term effect. Number 11, the size of buffers and other stabilizing stocks relative to their flows. A buffer's ability to stabilize the system is important when the stock amount is much higher than the potential amount of inflows or outflows. In the lake, the water is the buffer. If there's a lot more of it than inflow or outflow, the system stays stable. Number 10, structure of material stocks and flows, such as transport networks or population aid structures. The system's structure may have enormous effect on operations but may be difficult or prohibitively expensive to change. Fluctuations, limitations, and bottlenecks may be easier to address. Length of delay is relative to the rate of system changes. Information received too quickly or too late can cause over or under reaction or even oscillations. Number eight. Strength of negative feedback loops relative to the effect they are trying to correct against. A negative feedback loop slows down a process, tending to promote stability. The loop will keep the stock near the goal, thanks to parameters, accuracy, and speed of information feedback, and size of correcting flows. Number seven, gain around driving positive feedback loops. A positive feedback loop speeds up a process. Meadows indicates that in most cases it is preferable to slow down a positive loop rather than speed up a negative one. Number six, structure of information flow. Who does and does not have access to what kinds of information? Information flow is neither a parameter nor a reinforcing or slowing loop, but a loop that delivers new information it is cheaper and easier to add new information flows than changing structure. Number five, rules of the system, such as incentives, punishment, or constraints. Pay attention to rules and who makes them. Number four, power to add, change, evolve, or self-organize system structure. Self-organization describes a system's ability to change itself by creating new structures adding new negative and positive feedback loops, promoting new information flows, or making new rules. Number three, goal of the system. Changing the goal of the system changes every item listed above. Parameters, feedback loops, information, and self-organization. Number two, mindset or paradigm that the system its goals, structure, rules, delays, parameters arises out of. A society paradigm is an idea, an unstated assumption that everyone shares, thoughts or states of thoughts that are sources of systems. Paradigms are very hard to change, but there are no limits to paradigm change. Meadows indicates paradigm, paradigms might be changed by repeatedly and consistently pointing out anomalies and failures to those with open minds. Number one, power to transcend paradigms. Transcending paradigms may go beyond challenging fundamental assumptions into the realm of changing the values and priorities that lead to the assumptions and being able to choose among value sets at will. The challenge now is to consider magic connections model. Identify the appropriate leverage points, develop a strategy for actions, implement the strategy, and monitor progress. Yes, it's far easier to describe than to actually do. Please continue with magic connections strategy, the next video in this series.